What happens to your body when you quit smoking for one hour, one day, one month, and one year? Inhaling toxic chemicals is never a good idea. I mean, think about it. These toxic chemicals harm various organs and systems in the body. The general rule is, the longer you smoke, the more harm it will do. The emotional ups and downs of quitting smoking can feel like a roller coaster ride in the first few days and weeks. Making such a significant change in your life can elicit strong emotions. When you decide to quit smoking, knowing what to expect along the way can be beneficial. Some people experience only minor withdrawal symptoms when they quit, while others struggle. So, if you're thinking about quitting this addiction, fear not. We're here to guide you as to what to expect in the coming days. In this video, we'll tell you what happens to your body when you quit smoking for one hour, one day, one month, and one year. So, let's get started. Smoking is particularly harmful to the lungs, causing a variety of respiratory problems such as chronic bronchitis, emphysema, and lung cancer. When you smoke, you inhale toxic chemicals and particles that can damage the lungs' airways and small air sacs called alveoli, causing inflammation, coughing, and wheezing. This can cause irreversible lung damage over time, making breathing increasingly difficult. Smoking also raises the risk of heart disease, stroke, and other cardiovascular problems. Tobacco smoke contains chemicals that can harm the lining of blood vessels, making them narrower and more difficult for blood to flow through. This can result in hypertension, heart attacks, and strokes. Smoking also raises the risk of blood clots, which can obstruct blood flow to the heart or brain. Smoking also weakens the immune system, making it more difficult for the body to fight infections and diseases. This is because smoking causes inflammation and damage to the immune system cells and tissues, which can improve your respiratory health and make breathing easier. You'll also notice an improvement in your sense of taste and smell. That's because smoking affects your taste buds and olfactory receptors, making it difficult to properly taste and smell things. When you stop smoking, your taste buds and olfactory receptors begin to repair, which is the reason for the more pronounced taste and smell. As for the cons, when you stop smoking, you may experience withdrawal symptoms such as cravings, irritability, anxiety, and difficulty concentrating. These symptoms are usually temporary and will improve over time. The longer you refrain from smoking, the better your health will be. Quitting smoking is one of the most beneficial things you can do for your health, and even abstaining from smoking for 24 hours is a step in the right direction. If all goes well, the month will go by in a breeze and you'll be looking at your first month anniversary of not smoking. No need to get carried away and break out a cigarette to celebrate. You may notice that as your lungs heal, you can breathe more easily and cough less. Your body will be Or, you may also notice that your skin is clearer and you have more energy. Quitting smoking can be difficult, and you may still experience withdrawal.
While you may still have cravings from time to time, the longer you go without smoking, the easier it is to resist those cravings. The advantages of not smoking for a year are substantial, and they'll continue to grow the longer you stay smoke-free. Quitting smoking is a huge step toward bettering your overall health and quality of life. In addition to these health advantages, you'll have saved a significant amount of money. Cigarette smoking is costly. If you smoked a pack of cigarettes per day for a year, you'd have saved thousands of dollars. Remember, one of the best things you can do for your health is to stop smoking. Smoking can cause a variety of issues such as acid reflux and peptic ulcers, as well as an increased risk of developing certain cancers. Smoking can also impair nutrient and vitamin absorption, resulting in deficiencies that can lead to a variety of health problems. We bet you didn't know that smoking can also lead to infertility, pregnancy complications, and an increased risk of cervical and breast cancer in women. Cigarette smoking can lead to impotence, infertility, and an increased risk of testicular cancer in men. Overall, smoking is the root cause of a variety of health issues, ranging from respiratory and cardiovascular issues to reproductive and digestive issues. The longer you smoke, the more harm it can do. But quitting at any age can help improve your health and lower your risk of developing serious health problems. The advantages are almost immediate. When a person quits smoking, their body begins to heal almost instantly. While withdrawal can be difficult, viewing the symptoms as signs that your body is recovering from the damage caused by smoking can help. Many people find that withdrawal symptoms go away completely after two to four weeks, though they may last longer for some people. Symptoms tend to come and go during that period. Remember that it will pass, and you'll feel better if you stick with it until the end. If you liked our video, give us a like and share, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content.